Hey everyone, I'm on the second floor of Reading Regional Airport, and while at most small airports you might try to avoid the food on offer, this is a unique situation because Peter Chu's, uh, it's been here for decades, it's Peter Chu's Skyroom, and behind me is the bar and the restaurant, and then on the other side of me is the runway where my plane's gonna take off from in a couple hours. And that plane is probably the one I'm gonna be taking to San Francisco. As a restaurant that's been around for a while, Peter Chu's Skyroom has won numerous local awards. So behind me you could see hopefully Best Asian, Best Chinese, and uh, these date back many years. And there's also a full bar. The teriyaki beef sticks come already grilled, but if you want to kind of finish them off a little bit, it comes with this little flaming device right here, and you can just put them right on top. This one right here is paper wrapped chicken, so it's wrapped in paper, it's very warm in my hand. I believe it's fried on the outside, but it's not gonna be uh, greasy on the inside because I believe the oil doesn't get inside. At least that's what it says on the menu. So uh, let me try this. Okay. This is a different idea. It doesn't um, necessarily stick to the foil, which is a good thing. But I don't know, I'm tasting something like soy sauce with this. I'm not 100% sure, but it definitely has some flavor to it. Right there is what it looks like. Almond. So this one is almond chicken. So it's a little diced zucchini, diced celery, little almond slices, which are a little hard to see, diced chicken, and then some mushroom as well. So this is a Chinese dish that I've never seen before, but it's all ingredients I like. So I feel like this one should be good. It's in a brown sauce. So this almond chicken, this is one of those dishes I uh, could see myself ordering if I lived here and I was a regular because it's not too heavy, it's got healthy ingredients. Um, the brown sauce, it is a little bit salty, but I like the way everything goes together. And this was, when I looked at the menu, this is the one thing that I said, hey, I gotta try the almond chicken. Okay. The walnut prawns are a really interesting dish. Um, I wanna say I've had this at some point, but the shrimp. It's fried, it's a little bit heavy, and then you got the wall, I'm, I'm not sure, walnut cream maybe, but you got the crunch from the candied uh, walnuts, then you got like the sweet pineapple and the shrimp. This dish is a really interesting mix. I love all the ingredients. It is on the heavier side. If I was here by myself, I might just order this and get nothing else. Okay. So I've tried four dishes at Peter Chu's, and I just wanna say one thing about the experience here. I've been to all 50 states now, 57 countries, and I've never heard anyone say, hey, we're going to the airport for dinner. This is just such an unusual experience, even like I'm at least a somewhat seasoned traveler. But this is really cool. If I lived here, I would come more often, and people around me, it's getting late now, but when I got here, it was packed. People around me were like, yeah, we're not flying. We're just here for the food. You can see, that's my suitcase behind me. So I'm gonna kind of rank everything uh, I had to the best of my ability. I'm gonna say the walnut shrimp was my favorite. It's not something I would order every day, but the walnut shrimp was definitely the most interesting dish. Um, creamy, kind of heavy. Second, I'm gonna go with the chicken in paper. Um, it just had so much flavor. Uh, I didn't need to use any of the sauce, wasn't even tempted. I'm gonna say third is the almond chicken, another interesting dish. Uh, simple ingredients, interesting dish. This is one of those things that I would, if I came here regularly, if I decide to move to Reading and I, this becomes my main airport, I'll have this whenever I fly. But I'm gonna say 
I'm gonna have to put the teriyaki beef last. Um, enjoyed it. I thought the presentation was probably number one, but it was really cool being able to put it over a flame like that uh, as it cooled down, especially when you're trying a lot of food and trying to keep it warm. But uh, the meat was good. It's just, you know, kind of something I had before. And I'm gonna say again, like uh, I loved the walnut shrimp. And I hope if you're ever in Reading uh, and your flight works out at a time when Peter Chu's is open, you try this place. It's a really interesting idea. Um, they don't have too many daily flights from here. It's a small airport. But, you know, if you face the window, you could even get to see a plane taken off. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. I got more trips coming up soon. I got Cancun, Mexico coming up. Then I'm going to be heading to Seattle. I got Buffalo, New York. It's going to be my first real trip to Buffalo. And I look forward to sharing more videos with you soon.